y'all, we're here in the Sisters on the Loose test kitchen, otherwise known as Kevin and Allie's kitchen. We're gonna make some scones for you today, isn't that it? We have some simple currant cream scones. We've made a wonderful little bit of a change to it, but simple cream scones. I think you'll like them a lot. What I have here in the food processor, I've already added a cup of flour, okay? Regular flour, sister? All-purpose flour. Okay. All-purpose flour. I've added one tablespoon of sugar. Now, our recipe calls for two tablespoons, but I know somebody's watching her sugar, so I only put one tablespoon of sugar. I've got one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt, and I'm just pulsing this in the food processor to um, kind of mix that together about five or six pulses. Now, if you don't have a food processor for this next step, um, I hate it for you, but, um, <laughs> but I've got three tablespoons of butter that I have cut into small cubes. You can just see. Is it cold butter? Uh, it, it is cold, ice cold butter. Ice cold butter that um, you've cut into small. I've cut it into small cubes and I'm just scattering that over the top of our flour that we've mixed together. In see, the as we said before, we said we could cook. We just didn't say we would cook. Okay, now this we're gonna pulse again. We want it to be the consistency of coarse cornmeal, okay? I want all that butter to get pulsed up in there. Um, that's my Cuisinart, Joyce. So I appreciate you quit beating on it. I know. So that's all we're going to do with that right there. See how the texture is just kind of coarse and crumbly. That butter is there, okay? We're going to take this and pour it into a separate bowl. Just a medium-sized bowl. Our recipe, when you see that in the... It's, it's in this little magazine, yeah. Bacon for Two, but it is an America's Test Kitchen recipe. If you can find the currants that it calls for, get the currants. If you can't, you can use some um, raisins. Just regular raisins. Just regular raisins. We've used the dried cherries today, but the other, a couple weeks ago, I used some uh, crystallized ginger which was, I thought, just fantastic. Fabulous, so, just so you know. And so, I think any dried fruit would be fine that I think you would so. want in a breakfast item. I mean, mm -hmm. there's some things you might not. Now, we're going to add a half a cup of heavy cream. Nobody said it had to be good for you. <laughs> and we're just gonna mix that together real loosely. Here's your flour, sister. You're gonna need that, aren't you? Yes, I am. I need to dust my countertop a little bit. And we're just gonna put some flour right out here. And you know how with biscuits, you've got that kneading and you've got to get your hand in and all of that. This is not gonna be like that. We've got this real ragged looking mass of dough. We're gonna turn that out onto our countertop. Now see, I'm just gonna gather it together just like so. And it's going to come together and I'm going to pat it out into about a five inch circle. Shape it up a little bit. This is the hard part for me right here is getting the pieces about even. There you go. You want to just put them on the baking sheet. Separate them by about two inches or so. Let's go put those in the oven, Nancy. Okay. How long, sister? I want, I want you to set it for uh, 10 minutes, and then, see, we're gonna come in and rotate that baking sheet okay. and do it for 10 more minutes. Our next You're video right. is gonna be about uh, learning how to use the timer. Joyce, this is not my <laughs> oven. I know. Look, sister! How do you, let's just turn that off. Okay. Okay, oh my. Now, I'm gonna say that is a nice golden brown. What about y'all? I'm gonna call that perfect. Okay, let's set those over here. Now, here's the thing about these scones. You're gonna say, oh boy, those look so good, and wouldn't they be good just warm right out of the oven? No, no, no. You need to wait about 10 minutes because that will improve their texture and their flavor, plus you won't burn the roof of your mouth when you eat them. Boy, sister, 
<laughs> this looks so good. Oh, I love they, these scones. They just came out so good and that I could smell the cherry. Oh, mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. love cherry. Uh, but they would be good with your ginger or raisins or currants. Or currants. Too. What you might want to do is to make some up and make a, make a nice cup of tea to go with that and uh, go over to our YouTube channel and watch a couple of our videos over there and enjoy a scone and some tea. You could subscribe to that YouTube channel, share it with a friend, and uh, like us. Like us. We'll see you next time. Ride and spread the alarm through every Middlesex village and farm. <laughs>